And I'm back. Um, possibly days have gone by, but for me, seconds. Um, I've decided I just want to keep playing. Um, I couldn't justify making a single video much longer than that last one, but... Mm. Excuse me, I'm drinking my now cold tea. I made this tea 45 minutes ago. Very upset. Oh, let me turn down my headphones. I've just realized that'll probably be bleeding through into the audio of me. No, no good. Right, there we go. So, um, yeah, I'm, I decided to keep going. Um, I, d I just... Again, I don't know what anyone else is getting out of this, but uh, that's only... I, I, I know I'm enjoying doing this, so I'll keep doing it. Um... Something I just want to point out because I can, I'm noticing it here. I've never known that. I've never noticed that the, the town. I mean, maybe it's never been in an episode, and that's why. But I'm looking in the distance, and I can see in the background there. Um, the town has a little sort of like little square with a little garden patch in it, and there's a statue of Dewey. I did not know the town had a Mayor Dewey statue. That's hilarious. Um, so right. Um, I don't, I'm not going to go to the arcade because I feel like story might be this way. Whereas I feel like this way I'm going to get blocked after I can talk to Sour Cream. Oh no, he's got a mission. He's yellow. I noticed this earlier that the yellow dialogue boxes are like missions. Oh god. No. I see Ronaldo. No. Ugh. Zero out of ten, guys. Game over. <laughs> I'm just doing that to annoy the one dude who likes Ronaldo. <laughs> I'm just, there's always like one, but every time we do a Ronaldo episode on our Steven University podcast, <laughs> there's just one, there's always one Ronaldo fan in the episodes that we always rag on Ronaldo all, all episodes. Just going, I, I, I like him. Anyway, um, Sour Cream. Hey, it's Steven. Maybe you can help me. I'm playing the semi-annual DJ Rave thing tonight, but I left the glow sticks in the forest. Right. Bummer, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, glow sticks. I'll find them. Yeah, 10 glow sticks. He'll give me a sick reward. Great. That's cool. Great. Now I know what they look like. Let's be a buddy and find 10 of these. Anywho. Um, so, yeah, I'm noticing I'm getting a collection of... of, of I'm just like keeping on... Is there... Is this... Does the game store my missions elsewhere? That's my current mission. Because so far, I've been asked to find ice for Sadie. Um, what am I looking for for the pizzas? The pizzas want me to deliver some pizzas for them. So I've got to go find Kiki. She's somewhere around. And um, I'm finding glow sticks for sour cream. That's great. I wonder about this is going to block me from going through here. No, I can go through here. Oh, wow. Okay. I really thought that I was going to meet an invisible barrier at this stage. I want to go look at that statue. Actually, now I'm closer. That might not be a statue. That might actually just be a cardboard cutout that's been... <laughs> Give it a grey colour scheme to make it look like a statue. I will get a closer look at that in a moment. But um, as it stands, we've got a battle. This is interesting. So, I don't know if it's uh, by virtue of the fact I let it hit me before I hit it. But... I have just noticed that the positioning is not one side to one side, like you would imagine. I was hoping that would hit both. That was. I ass I assumed that the, um, the battles would take place. My guys on one side, their guys on the other side. There seems to be a bit more. Sort of um, like mixing them up because like Greg is clearly in the middle. Oh, but you know what that means? Oh, come on down. Ow! Because Greg is right in the middle and now. I don't have enough things for Collie to attack, but I do have enough for Steven to attack. Which I'm really determined to get rid of that, that red guy pretty quickly, because he is... Oh, the closer they are to Greg, the more it thingies them as well. Okay, that's interesting. Do I protect Greg? Do I... Actually, no. no. Let's use Connie's attack. Ah, oh, I went... I should do that. Oh, I caught both. That'll do. So, um, yeah, there's something. I think there's a tactical element of this about positioning as well, then, by the look of it. Because, and I don't know how that's decided. Is it decided by the fact that because the, the blue thing hit me before I hit it, um, and I'm wondering if that's what gave me the positioning, or if it's just like it's randomly assigned, or if each battle has its own sort of layout that's predetermined by the, you know, the, the, uh, the developers, and I've just got to roll with which, however, it lays out each time, or is there some sort of element of choice? I'm not sure. Um, but... 
I'm quite enjoying it though. I think this is it's you know what it is. It's it, these sort of games, generally speaking, like adding a um, yeah. Start reminding I have no star points. Um, the they they can get quite sort of static, but I think having the the prompt for the timings that like, always makes these even though it's not the best like level of interaction in the world it's really basic it's like just press the button at the right time it does just keep you slightly more engaged because i remember like in the old days playing old final fantasy games or pokemon games and like my mind just wandering i'm just i'm just repeatedly just hitting a just like click 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 yeah attack 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 attack, attack. or not really worrying about it on the some of the easier ones and you sort of find yourself your mind drifting um whereas with this it actually forces you to be more focused on the game not ideal for a situation where i'm supposed to be sort of commentating on it because um, I'm pretty sure, and I don't know, I'd have to listen back to check, but I'm pretty sure I keep starting sentences, then getting distracted, trying to think about something in the game and finding myself um, not finishing whatever I thought I was starting. Um, so Connie's got a new ability, and I just knocked over my table in an attempt to reposition. That's never good. You know, to drink on my laptop, also not good. So, uh, let's see. So Connie's new ability is Protect which moves her to an ally. I assume I choose that ally the same way Steven probably chooses or who to put the bubble on. Didn't need it on that last game, but I will get I will get a chance to test that ability shortly. Blocking incoming damage. So it's... Oh, and it's... A, okay. So it's like Steven's bubble. The only difference being is it comes with an automatic counterattack. Um, so it's much more powerful than Steven's bubble. So far, what I'm learning, Connie, far more badass than Steven. Everything that she does seems she seems far superior as a character to Steven. I'm very excited to see if I can get them to fuse. That'd be amazing to play as Steve on it. Um, so that's cool. But she's also gone up a level. Does that mean I have no key yet? Don't worry, kids. A real good feeling about the next one. Yeah, we oh, so we're fighting random bad guys because we're waiting for one of them to drop the key. I, I thought they would lead us to the key. I didn't realize they would. Can I jump up there and get that? I know I put it in here somewhere. Connie, no, Greg. Oh wow, Greg jumps just as exuberantly as Steven. Look at that. And I was right, that is a cardboard cutout. Because <laughs> I guess Peach City could not afford a real statue. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, back, back. I, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a cut. I mean, then again, all the characters are Paper Mario style kind of flat in this game. So I, I, maybe, um, maybe I'm misjudging and it is supposed to be a real statue. But the other objects look like they've got dimension to them. Actually, no, they don't really, do they? It's just Steven hiding in the bushes behind Ronaldo, waiting to strike. Waiting to strike! Steven! Oh god, he's already annoyed me. <laughs> to be fair, the writing actually this is quite good. All the characters do speak like they're supposed to. Um, I figured you'd be excited about the light. Monsters, get close to them, try to get yourself out. Yeah. What monsters? Oh, you must mean the cosplayers. Right. Brilliant. Brilliant. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah. Forget that. Feast your eyes on my wares. I was going to say, he's either, he's either a shop or he's going to give me a random set of things to collect or find for him. Everyone in this town is so demanding. Steven, find my light sticks, glow sticks. Steven, deliver some pizzas. T Steven, f we need ice for your ice cream donuts. Then again, for that one, it is for Steven's benefit. Um, let's see. Exotic, exotic goods I come across in my travels from here to my house. <laughs> so what's he selling? Okay, an XP. 15% faster. Oh, these are, is that a badge? That is a badge. So, you attach that badge to a specific character and they would get XP quicker. That's good. Then you want to boost up quickly. And what does that one do? Reset one character's upgrades. So return all the upgrade points. I'll have to be respent. Okay, so if I change my mind about how I've set up a character, I can always undo it. That's good. Okay. So, I oh, see, I'm... That's really annoying me, but I'm guessing there's a character that can maybe... I wonder if we'll get to play as Lapis at some point. She can fly, can't she? I wonder if that's what's going to happen. See, I feel bad because I'm going further into the town and I can see some more monsters over here. There's a student with a suitcase who I don't recognize immediately. I'll have to have a chat with him and find out who. But I do feel like I've missed out on speaking to Mr. Smiley, so I'm going to... My completionist brain is kicking in. 
And um, now I know that's the way the story goes forward. Let me do some exploring over here before I do that. So, Mr. Duke at the Arcade, Mr. Smiley himself, who says, is that, is that allowed? A small token of my guy should. Here's a token. Voltron, son of Zoltron. Very good. Maybe she looked very familiar to you, of course. This guy's all new. Kids these days want constant, fresh new attractions, you know? All new. To receive your fortune, present Boltron. Present it. Okay. Do I. Uh, do I want to do. Yeah, go on. I can't see much other use for this. Oh wow, okay, so that was worth it. I got a uh, super star fruit. Okay, so I can, I guess I'll be able to collect those throughout the game and bring them back here, um, which is cool. Wait, is Mr. Sunny holding out another one? Can I get that? Uh, I can get that for a certain number of the gem things, the, 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 like the currency thing I keep saying. Oh, there's another monster. See, now I don't know. Ah, no. You will not hit us first. Hey, it's Jamie. I had no post today, buddy. What are you playing at? So Jamie's doing his usual acty thing. Cool. Oh. I'm going to be really careful here because that's going to hit us first and then I'm going to have to... Ah, see, again, I don't know if I'm having any influence on these positionings in the battle. Right, first things first. Learn my lesson. Get him straight off on attacking everyone. There's a new kind of... Ah, look at... I see. So this one's got a shield. I bet if you try and attack him from the front, no effect. From the back, though. That's why Connie is useful. Oh, man, I did not see that. I actually did not see that coming. Okay. I do not like purple. I feel like it's a... Come on, I get rid of him quicker is basically what I'm learning here. And I can see Buck Dewey in the background. Watching on, not caring, as usual. I remember I recently watched uh, rewatched the uh, the Sadie Killer episode of my girlfriend, and like my favorite gag in that whole episode is when they're all like dancing and clearly like enjoying the music, <laughs> except for Buck, who's just still not at all reacting to the music in any way, shape, or form. It's really, <laughs> it's just. I don't know, it's just something like so perfect about that. And that's the benefit of a show like this where they animate everything. Um, well, it's all done through the, uh, through the storyboards. They, they, they write the story alongside the storyboarding process rather than actually writing scripts. Because like that's such a good visual joke and that would have never, no one would have put that in a, I don't think anyone would have thought to put that in a script. That's the sort of, that sort of visual humor you're only gonna hit on as a notion, I think when you're in that situation. Oh, Connie is so bad at it. Um, but yeah, I just, I, that's such a, it's such a great gag that we were, we were super impressed. We laughed a lot when that happened. You know, burrito. I should really make sure I do some healing after this because I haven't done any during this battle at all. You're, they have posed no threat. Bow to my superior tactics. We did it indeed. And there's a key and look, it's got Dewey's head on it. Beautiful. Well, obviously, we'll get the key. Better attack to Mayor Dewey. Yeah. Key get. Let's go. Bizarre. Bring it to Mayor Dewey. But let's first let's see what's over here and talk to Buck in a second. Let's see. I'm guessing there's another area of the game that I can get to later. So there'll be a forest section I guess you get to through here. That's cool. Well, anything this way? This is just me being nosy now. Ah, there is something this way though. Booyah. Things. Got some stuff. More stuff. Message in a bottle. It's mysterious, it's to the captain. See, I saw him earlier in the game. I think he was... I think he was behind the temple. 
right, let's see what Buck's got to say for himself. Hey, Buck. Pretty crazy and amazing day. I guess so. Sometimes I envy you, Steven. <laughs> I mean, I hate to be like, ah, so Buck. But that is quite Buck. Oh, God. So do I give him a hug? Do I give him a joke? Tell him I can't help him. That would never be Steven's reaction. Check out this thing I can do with my inner elbow. Oh. Oh, so many of these options are good. I don't even know the answer. I'm going to go for inner elbow. Oh. Would anything I've chosen gotten a reaction? Okay, I get to choose different things. Great. I get to find out what the other options were. No, nope, doesn't want that either. All right, well, we'll go back through this rigmarole again. Wait, we'll find something. Want to hear a joke? I literally don't. Nothing I do. That's. I don't know if that's but a joke or if there's something that like I can figure out later on that will work. That's why I'm like not laughing right now because I'm done. Okay, great. I can't help him. Okay. So that's either a brilliant joke that I'm not laughing at because I'm worried it's a game mechanic I don't understand. Or <laughs> it's, it's just a great joke. Right. Here we go. Towards Dewey. I think... Yeah, because we're heading towards the car. We can fight some more monsters on the way. That's fine by me. And what does this dude want? Suitcase Sam. Is that an existing character? Dude with a suitcase and an eye patch. Do I know him? Is, is that is the joke that I'm not? Ooh, that looks him. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Got me some gems. Got me a together breakfast. Knows it about the place. Headbutted a big crystal case. Probably concussion, but we won't worry about that. Have we? I haven't talked about Steven's run cycle yet. This. I mean, that is like a light jog, just constantly. I love it. Connie's is great because it looks like hers from the opening of the show. Um, Stevens, I don't know how I feel about Stevens actually. <laughs> but anyway, um, right, let's roll into this thing before it attacks me. I was talking about something and I forgot. Oh, well. That is going to be the nature of this, I feel, pretty early on. Right, let's set you up straight away. I don't know if I'm doing that right with Greg. I don't know if there's some way I can be sort of updating that attack or doing more with that attack as the game goes on. I, I don't know if like there's something I'm supposed to be doing to to encourage Greg's attack more. Ah, I didn't heal like I said I would. So let's. That's what I needed. We have to look into Greg's attacks in a minute. Because I'm really not sure if I'm supposed to... Oh, he got lucky that time. I'm legitimately not sure if there's something I'm supposed to do to like encourage that along if it runs out after a certain number of turns. I guess we'll find out at some point. So Connie's been targeted. got lucky again. I also didn't assign Connie's points. She went up a level. So did Greg, actually. I am no good at this game. That's what I'm learning. Connie is just too much. This is ridiculous. She is just walking through everyone. That's awesome. Oh, level up again. So they've all got to level up since I last checked and they've all got points to spend. So I need to do that, really. Um, ah, but let's. What am I gonna pick? What am I gonna pick? Let's not forget again. Oh, that's I can't Ooh, I can't see. I know. Ah, my phone is ringing. Well, do you, don't you know I'm doing a video for YouTube game phone thing? Also, ominous. Oh, that's gonna keep going, isn't it? I'm gonna pause for a second just to let that ring out. 
It's like these people don't care. It's like they don't know what I'm doing. It really is. There you go. I want to make a point here of I am being followed by that terrifying Dewey head. Even here on a separate street, it still just sort of looms in the background. <laughs> no matter what I do, that thing is fucking terrifying. Right, okay. Um, so I've noticed a weird, it's not a floor or such, it's just that if, if I have the character standing like this when I go to game my, go in my backpack and sign it, it, it's a little hard to see who I've selected and who needs the health. So I think in future I'm going to have to move them in a line like that before I do it. Which isn't great design. Uh, pony, there we go. But there you go. And... No, wrong button. There we go. I have got characters that have gone up a level that need points assigning. So let's go back to Steven. Upgrades, upgrades, I love upgrades. Uh, how many upgrades? That needs two. And then, oh, we'll do the same thing for you as we did last time. Why not? Accept the point change. I feel so upgraded. Feel so upgraded. Steven's the person I'm going to want to put the teamwork up on the fastest because I'm going to want him to. I want. I want. I want Steve Arnie. And I want Smoky Quartz really badly. Smoky Quartz is one of my absolute favourite fusions. Cannot wait. We haven't gotten to Smoky Quartz on Steven University yet in terms of recording, but it is, for me, it is like after we got to Mr. Greg, it's the thing I wanted most to get to. Uh, with Connie, I might actually just pump some more stuff into her. Oh, I can't get past that until she's at a certain level. That's what that is. Um, I'll put her teamwork up again. I know that needs two. I only have one to give. So, damn defense. Yep, we'll do defense. That's fine. Uh, again, as I established early on, I'm pretty bad. Um... Mr. Universe, at your uh, with uh, with RPGs in general. So if if you if you're watching this and going, Dan, why are you assigning things to things and they're stupid and wrong? I'm really sorry. I am. I'm gonna have to just acknowledge right up front that I genuinely don't know what I'm doing. Um, sure, sure. That seems sensible. Wait, did I, did I save that? I really have no business being here. Not too shabby. Adventure is out there. Mr. Universe. Hey, it's Great. my okay. page. Adventure is out there. Wait, did Steven just say, hey, it's my page? Video games. Video games. Steven, how do I look? Adventure um, is out there. Guys, check this. I really have no business beat. Video games. Can I make games. him just say my page? Mr. Universe. Ready, Freddy. Ready, Freddy. Steven, how do I look? Upgrades, upgrades. With rigorous study and trick. Ready, I can't Freddy. make him re-say it. And get it. He's just not going to say it. I'm going to keep going back and forth and he's never going to say the thing I want him to say. No, he's not going to say it. I'm giving up. I sure I'd seen him say my... I thought I'd heard him say my page, but I guess he either didn't or it's like a rarer one. Um, another more damage from when that mystery gem ship crashed. Mr. Universe's fan. Slash his poem. Oh, it's a wash. It's a wreck. No good. Right. Dewey. And your terrifying van of doom. We found your key. Now what, buddy? You've done a great service to the city. So... Oh, he's got a thing to give to me. Huh. Can we all buy humans or have humans? I... So basically, we're gonna look around for for the gems, uh, storyline-wise now, which makes sense. I, I don't think we're gonna find them together. I think you're gonna get introduced to them one by one and you're gonna have choices about who comes in your party and who doesn't. I think Amethyst, Steven, and Connie, if it's three, are gonna be my go-tos because, um, Oh, I don't know, because Pearl and Amethyst, I, Opal would be an amazing thing to, to get more of. But I, I really like Stevani, and I really like um, Smoky Quartz. So I think that, that would be, have to be my choice, really. 
I don't know. I, I'll have to see how it goes. Because you might even be able to get more in your party than three. It, I just, I'm, right now, I'm, I'm assuming it's a party of three. Um, but it's, we'll have to see how the game works. So let's do the badge thing. Um, humans and half humans, this will work on. So who do I apply it to? 15% health. Which is the least health, Greg. So. Badges. So it's called the healthy human badge. Total health. Will my humans? Half humans. For yeah, me? why not? Are you sure? Yeah, why not, Greg? So he gets 15% more health, which is good, because he is the lowest health having person on my team. There we go. Great. I've applied that. Thanks, game, for your tutorial. Now we're gonna head to the lighthouse. Where's the lighthouse? Oh, is that on top of the setup this way? Look at this, it's up a hill. This might be answering the question of how the Stevens laundry, how they always get up, because I always, oh, it's Lion! Lion! Who is asleep? I always wondered how they get, who's that on the beach? Oh, I get to choose. Well, Amethyst, I want to see Amethyst. Because I want to start building that relationship, because I want me some smoky quartz. Oh, she's surrounded by the monsters. We're gonna have to go give her a hand. We'll have to drop a party member though. That is the question. Come on, we gotta go help her. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But um, anyway, I, I was always wondering about. I'll see it from here. Oh, I was hoping for answers. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Ah, oh, that's really annoying. I've always wondered how they got up on the hand to do laundry and stuff. There's no door. There's no. This is a, they're, they're, we've seen them sat on the hand, jamming out, and we've seen them like that. We know they put laundry up there, but how does it? How do they get up there? How do they do it? There's no door. There's no access that I could ever see. I was hoping to solve that mystery finally, but nope. It's just still just a hand with laundry on it. I got a glimpse of it just then. All right, let's give Amethyst a hand. Oh, watch out! Oh, we don't get to attack them. I was gonna roll in and do some damage. So, I can have four in the party. I have an amethyst. Awesome. What does that do? Uh, shape shift and deliver. A... Oh, man, I need my glasses. A patented Steven encouragement. That's temporary defense boost. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yes, keeping amethyst, that's for sure. How about this tasty number? But they seem to be able to move forward on their moves, but I don't seem to have that option, which is interesting. Oh, I didn't hit the button in time. So I don't know if I've got movement options. Uh, Connie can strike the nearest one. Why not? Blocking. The Greg blocks on his guitar, which is pretty cool. So I think, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna use Amethyst a heck of a lot. She is. I mean, I'm not gonna say overpowered because, I mean, I don't know what's coming up in the game, but right now she feels like a pretty, pretty awesome. She does a, a reasonable amount of damage and across multiple enemies, which is awesome. Ah, I hit the button too early. I got excited. I don't know if you guys can hear the button clicks. I hope not, because that would probably be quite annoying after a little while. Um, Connie to the rescue. Um, you know what, Steven, you've done nothing all this whole time. Let's give you something to do. I've also noticed these smiley face things, the little emojis after fights, and I'm really confused as to, it seems to be really random. Like Amethyst and Steven both had them, but no one else did then. Is that guys who took out enemies in the fight? I'm sure that Amethyst, uh, I'm sure that Connie did. 
Yeah, Connie did, so I don't know. I, I don't know what those relate to. They must be something. They're an indicator of something. Um. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, um, uh, kind of orangish. Nope. Well, I wouldn't ring a bell for amethyst, I suppose, would it? <laughs> hmm. I like that amethyst has no memory of attack the light. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I'm gonna reposition because I'm a little bit uncomfortable. There we go. That seems like a longer to. <laughs> there we go. We got a lot of adventures. That is true. That is true, amethyst. Gems. What to do next? Hmm. Right, let's see what's going on. Oh yeah. She did see the ship fly towards the forest. Perfect. That is as predicted then, I guess. Let's do this. Oh, what would Steven say? He wouldn't say mash up potatoes. Well, he might. Yeah, I'm going to say that. I'm gonna say I, that's just. Oh yeah. I, I feel like he's gonna be upset enough at this point at the loss of light him. Ooh, I know. That's pretty cool. So you can use Amethyst's whip. Um, so I'm going to stop doing that because it's getting kind of annoying. Um, I wonder how that would have played out if I had chosen it. I guess either if I do whichever gem I chose, it would have shown up. So. I'm glad I chose Amethyst. She seems pretty... She seems. I, if I remember rightly, an attack that light her attack did multiple da damage to multiple enemies as well. But, I don't know. Oh. I'm literally just... This is all just a big guessing game at this point, isn't it, really? Still, I'm not sure if any of this is entertaining at all, so I am sorry if it's really boring and not at all interesting. So we're in the forest, which doesn't seem as open an area as... Uh, this This feels a little bit now more like um, Attack the Light here, because th that was really, like, guided. Like, you didn't have much... Sort of, it was very much like just paths. It was dungeon crawly. I mean, there's a warp pad there. Am I supposed to be? Oh, chopping trees down. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna do this battle and then we'll end this video here because I'm I'm running out of things of interest to say and I'm worried that I'm uh, I'm just boring the pants off all of you. Um, oh, they're positioned in a way that means it's useless. So I might as well just go with the less. Costly attack, actually. No. No! Okay, that needs work as a system. This one's just a tribute. This one's just a tribute. Great reference. I'll save that one. Um, show's over, I so, um, yeah, I have to, I'm gonna. I'm worried that I'm just boring the pants for everyone now, so I'm probably going to. There we go. Uh, stop after this fight, which I'm getting a bit distracted by because I'm trying to get the timings right. Shoo -shoo. Oh, what's this? What? Give Greg kudos. Oh. Ah, uh, this builds up the relationship. Uh, Steven. So that's what the, the, the faces are about. There's something to do with the relationship building at, uh, element. Well, there you go. I've learned something. You guys might not be entertained, but Dan learned a thing. Right. You can still attack both due to their positioning. But we don't have enough stars for any further attacks like that, so I guess... So yeah, um, I don't know how this is turning out. I think the I think this is somehow worse than the first one, which is worrying. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to have. A, maybe I'm just tired. I have done both these back to back, so I've been playing for like an hour, an hour and a half. So that's probably maybe the problem. Maybe it's that I've just run out of things to say because I have done it for too long in one session. Maybe that's what I've got to learn. But I never game in. I, 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 I game sort of 
that casually. If I game in, in bulk. Bulk gaming is the future. That's the word. Okay. I think I should have probably hit the other one because it would have gone. Um, so yeah, I tend to I tend to sort of I don't ever tend to um, I always tend to overdo it. Basically, is what I'm getting at. You don't tend to get a situation where I just play for like ten minutes or whatever. It's 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 usually that I play a lot for a huge amount of time. Yes, Stephen Amethyst this relationship heading on the up. Um, so I, I don't know, I'm used to gaming en masse, but I am I'm feeling myself just saying gibberish now and not really saying anything of interest, so I don't know if I'm going to have to edit this or if I'm just going to leave it and I'm, you can just take the apology uh, for me not saying anything interesting for like 20 minutes. I started with energy, I feel. That went away. It'll come in handy dandy. Great. Um, yeah, so... So far, so... Straightforward, actually. There's, there's not as much to it as maybe I, uh, as much as I thought. Oh, I keep accidentally opening the, the backpack. I'm guessing I can head. This is going to be the way to head back to. Ah, uh, so there is going to be a limit at some point. I don't know what characters I can have with me, and the warp pad is how I will choose who I have in my team. Um, and it's also looking like I'll be able to use it to go to places we've already been. That makes sense. There are lots of locations. I'm liking this little art style, though. There's like Stephen drew it sort of art style and all this stuff. Stephen in a cape in the corner. That's adorable. Um, little block. That's monster type thing in the bottom for some reason. Why not? Um, yeah. So I think that this is one of those things where I'm, 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 in, I'm still enjoying this. I, I don't, don't understand. I just, I don't know what more I've got to say uh, today. So maybe I'm gonna save here and sort of. Um, and come back another time. So yeah, but thank you very much for watching if you watched all of this. If you've watched both of these so far and you've gone all the way through, thank you for sticking with me on this weird Dan comments on random bullshit experiment. Um, if it's bad, um, stop listening. Uh, and, and I'm sorry. Stop watching. But if, it's, if, it, if you're enjoying it, then great. Feel free to like, subscribe, let me know. All that gibberish. Um, there's still a very realistic chance I'm just bad at this um, but this is how we learn this is how we learn where our skills lie um, so yeah that's everything for this edition of whatever this is I'll see you next time for another thing that's like this but different <laughs>